It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. This signs of the last day's ministry is here, watching with you and praying with you as we get ready now for that appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this last day's church community, praying and giving to support this ministry to be here. There's prophetic news where a disaster has been declared in Texas after a swarm of 61 unusually strong earthquakes in just seven days, with the largest tremor so far being a 5.1 magnitude earthquake, has surprised part of Texas, and the swarm is continuing. Earthquakes like this have not been the norm for Texas in the past. But now as the Holy Bible prophecies foretold, we are seeing diverse earthquakes in unusual places, signaling we are in the last days of prophecy near the end of this age. The disaster was declared in Texas after a swarm of unusually strong earthquakes began. We're in the first seven days, 61 earthquakes happened, including significant earthquakes of the four and five magnitude level, with this event causing widespread structural damage and safety concerns there for local citizens. To where the Scurry County judge officially declared a disaster and urgently requested disaster assistance after damage was found in businesses and residences throughout the county from the massive number of recurring earthquakes. Literally dozens and dozens of earthquakes in this swarm have been rumbling out in this area west of Fort Worth, Texas, where the first 4.9 magnitude earthquake occurred that started this swarm of earthquakes. At last check, so far, there had been four earthquakes in the swarm that were 4.0 magnitude or larger, with the highest magnitude at the 5.1 level. And earthquakes like this have just not been the norm for Texas in the past. Texas officials have continued to say that the, quote, suspected, unquote, cause of these earthquakes is attributed to, they say, human business activities, where they say that they are linked to human activity as injecting water into the earth to help with oil and gas extractions at these wells in Texas. And they say that's the cause. But the truth is, this is, quote, suspected, unquote, and not proven. With much more research, the experts say that would be needed to be conducted to pinpoint this as truly the cause. And further adding to the mystery and concern is that the experts from the United States Geological Survey, they were reported as saying that the depth of these earthquakes in this swarm are more likely linked to natural causes within the earth they say because of how deep that these earthquakes are. And the magnitude of these earthquakes and such a large swarm are considered unusual and strong for this area of Texas to where they forced the county administrative judge to declare a disaster due to the increased strong seismic activity causing structural damage, safety concerns, and resource mobilization concerns. And the swarm is not over. As just yesterday evening, the latest report we saw said that the number of earthquakes now was up to 90 tremors shaking the earth there. But the numbers are still rising as today. Another report that we saw said that the number of earthquakes from the swarm is now over 100 and is still rising. This I want to say again, it's just not normal here in Texas. This is strange. To where the emergency management coordinator for this Texas county said that the people are on edge wondering 
what in the world is going to happen next? And I don't blame them. I would too, wouldn't you? And residents there in interviews about this with the media have said that they are not used to this and that it is traumatizing. And they said that in the movies you see earthquakes with like actors as Tommy Lee Jones playing their part, but they said this is not a movie, they said, and now it's real life with these continuing back-to-back -back earthquakes causing these residents distress and fear from the expectation of what could possibly happen next, where the residents are getting tired of all the shaking, they said, that is rattling their homes. So far, the damage is limited to cracks in foundations and in the walls and the ceilings of residences and businesses, along with some water line breakage. And the issuance of the disaster declaration has mobilized resources to take the necessary steps to help ensure the safety and well-being of the communities in case the event keeps getting worse. And like with any natural disaster, humanity cannot predict the future of what is coming. They would have never expected a swarm of earthquakes there like this. So that opens up the possibility of even more surprises to come. And a little known fact for many is that Texas has now become an earthquake capital in the United States, as Texas, who in the past did not have many earthquakes and certainly did not have swarms like this, but now Texas has more earthquakes than California. Tour has been reported that earthquakes have increased in Texas by between 200 to 300 percent, depending on the area, where they now say that there are more 2.5 magnitude and upward earthquakes happening in Texas, now more so than California. And now Texas is having earthquake swarms with officials declaring disasters in Texas from earthquakes. The biblical prophecies, such as Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, and Mark chapter 13 foretell that there will be diverse earthquakes in various places, unexpected places, in the last days of prophecy, signaling the world is nearing the end of this age and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. These events and conditions that I'm describing to you happening now, they are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. It's revealing. It's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and in verse 5. And as his chosen apostle sanctioned by the Lord Jesus, as they preached how in the Acts of the Apostles to be born again of the water and the Spirit, in the Acts of the Apostles preaching in Acts chapter 2, chapter 10, and chapter 19. And if you'd like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his apostles actually in the Bible. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. And down all the way at the very bottom of the page in the footer where there's smaller print, you'll find there our email address. Just email us with the name of your town, your state, and your zip code with your request, and we will be glad to respond. Just as there are emergency management coordinators to help people with information during times of surprise and disaster, Signs of the Last Days ministry, ministry is your spiritual and biblical emergency management coordinator where we supply information describing how the events are connecting to the last days prophecies in the Holy Scriptures and provide you local information where you can go and get help 
in these last days. So we look forward to your email. And please be watching for our next videos and also for our Watch and Pray live stream broadcast. As our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and that you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Such significant and amazing prophetic signs right from the prophecies of the Holy Bible are happening right now in world events. And for the biblical believers of Lord Jesus, it's telling us, as Lord Jesus said, keep looking up for the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Song.